Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new tutorial series on a Python voice assistant. Now what we're going to be doing is essentially creating a virtual slash voice assistant using Python, the Google text to speech module and some other modules in Python like speech recognition and play sound. Now what we're going to be doing is aiming to, you know, ease our life a little bit by having this virtual assistant that we can speak to through our computer's microphone and then have some kind of output either on the computer screen or from the speakers uh, itself. So anyways, that is kind of how this is going to work. What I'm going to be doing for this tutorial series is breaking everything into parts where each part is where I'm going to implement a new feature of the virtual assistant. Um, I have a few ideas for things I'd like to do, but if there's anything you want to see as a part of this virtual assistant, like a feature or something that it can do, leave a comment down below right now and let me know. And whatever ones are liked the most or just that I like, I will try to implement into the series as we can do a ton of stuff. Um, within this series and different things. I'm thinking right now that we can have some kind of web scraping so it can, you know, you can ask it a question, it can Google something, find the answer. I'm thinking we can get it to do some kind of automation for us. Like maybe we want to track expenses or something and we can tell it, you know, like, oh, I bought this today. It'll log it in an Excel spreadsheet. I don't know. Those are a few small ideas I have, but let me know. So anyways, what we're going to be doing today is just getting some audio coming out of the computer. So pretty much figuring out how to use Google text to speech as well as just installing some packages that we're going to need. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a command prompt window. You can do that by typing CMD in your Windows search bar here, or I mean, if you're on Linux and I assume you know how to do this, then what we're going to do is use pip, which is package installer for Python to install a few different packages. Now I assume most of you are familiar with pip, but if you're not, just go ahead in your command prompt, try to type it and hit enter and see if this works. If you get some output that looks like this, if you don't, then it probably means you haven't installed pip correctly. And I have a video. I'm going to leave a card suit in the top right hand corner on how to fix that. It says how to install Pygame, but it'll, it'll tell you how to fix that. So anyways, we're going to start installing some packages. So the first one we're going to use is going to be speech recognition. I always have a trouble spelling this word. I believe that's correct. I'm going to install that. You can see I already have it installed, but that's the first module. So speech recognition. The next one we are going to install is going to be Google text to speech, which is G T T S and this capital on the T T and S. And that is just Google text to speech. We'll install that one and we need two more. So the next one we're going to have is play sound. Now what play sound is going to do is literally just play sound from Python for us. Pretty straightforward. And the last one we need is Pi Audio. So pip install Pi Audio. Now, I don't have any issue installing this, but I know some people have said they've had issues installing this before. So I'm going to show you a really quick fix on if you can't install Pi Audio this way, how you can actually do it. So what you're going to need to do is go to this website here, which will be at the link in the description and download the appropriate wheel file for Pi Audio. So you can see here, it shows all of the different versions of this wheel file, which is just essentially what you're installing when you uh, install something with pip. It just downloads this file for you. Um, you see this one is like Python 2.7 because it says CP 2.7 uh, and then Windows 32 bit. So what you're going to look for is your Python version and whatever bit version you're using. So in this case, I'm using Python 3.7 with AMD 64. So like 64 bit. So this would be the file I download this one right here. I already have it downloaded, but that's the one you would click on. And if you want to check your Python version to do that, just type Python or you might have to type Python 3, depending on how many Pythons you have installed on your machine. And you will see that it shows your Python version here and then whatever bit version you're using in these little square brackets. So anyways, that's how you download that file. But now that you've downloaded that file, you actually need to install it. So to install it, what you're going to do is find where you downloaded it. So you're probably going to have it in downloads. So you can see that I have one here. Actually, I have two versions, but there's one right here. And what I'm going to do is open up a command prompt window here just by typing in this top. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm just going to open up a command prompt window here uh, just by typing CMD in this top navigation bar. And then what I can actually do is use pip and install this file. So to do that, I'm going to do pip install and I'm going to type pi and assuming there's nothing else that starts with py in my folder, I can just hit tab and it's actually going to bring up that file itself. So pi audio like this. And then what I can do is hit enter and that should install this for me. Now you can see I already have it installed, but that's a way to get around this. And it should say like successfully installed pi audio. If for some reason your pip version of pi audio is not working, which mine wasn't before. Anyways, that is how we get everything installed. And now it's actually time to start writing some code. So I'm going to close out all of this. And right now you can see that I am in subline text 
And this is what I'm going to be using for the majority of this tutorial series. Now, um, if you want to download Sublime Text, just look it up. It's pretty straightforward, but you can use anything you want so long as you know how to run the file and test things out. Okay, so I've actually saved everything here into a folder. I'm not sure if you guys can see up top here, um, but I'm inside of a voice assistant folder. I'd recommend you save your files inside of a folder uh, because we're going to have a few different things in there. But anyways, up to you. Uh, let's go ahead and start coding. So I'm just going to import these modules that I need, first of all. So I'm going to import OS. I'm going to import time. I'm going to import play sound. I'm going to import speech underscore recognition as SR. So standing for speech recognition. Oh, what is it doing that for? I want SR. Okay. And now I'm going to import GTTS. And I actually believe I need to import something from it. Ah, sorry. I'm going to do from GTTS import GTTS. And that's a capital on the TT and S. Okay, so now that we have that, we have all our imports done and we can actually start writing some code. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make it so that we can actually give um, some text to the computer and have it say it to us. Now, this seems pretty straightforward, but sometimes you run into some issues. So anyways, just try to follow along here. I'm going to create a function that says speak and I'm going to have a parameter called text. And what this is going to do is just take this text and speak it um, like say it out of our computer speakers. So to do this. We're going to say TTS is equal to GTTS dot or not dot, sorry, just brackets. And then we're going to say text equals text lang equals en. And what this is going to do is just pretty much transform uh, this text into an audio file with the language of English. That's what en stands for. Now what we're going to do is actually save this audio file and then play that audio file. It's kind of weird how you have to save the file first, but that's just the way that I found works best. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say file name is equal to, in this case, I'll just say voice dot MP3. It's going to save as MP3 file. I'm going to say TTS dot save file name. And what this is going to do is save the file voice dot MP3, which is going to contain the Google voice saying whatever text it is we passed here. Uh, to an mp3 file that's in the same folder as wherever this Python file is. Then what I'm going to do is do play sound dot play sound and simply load in this file name and it will play this mp3 file so we can actually hear what it says. Um, now that is pretty much it for actually making the speakers, you know, like say something from Python. Now all we don't need to do if we want to actually play this is just do speak and then put whatever we want in here. So I can do like hello Tim as the text. And if I run this now, we should see that we're going to hear this come out. So, I mean, we'll check. This is the first try uh, and see if we get it. Hello, Tim. And there we go. So hopefully you guys were able to hear that, but it says, hello, Tim. There is a little bit of latency on it because what it needs to do is generate this file, which takes a second, save the file and then load it back in and play the sound. Um, but anyways, that is how we get some sound out to our computer. You guys feel free to mess around with this. Knowing this alone, you can create some cool things um, with Python. But anyways, in the next video, what we're going to be doing is actually getting sound from the user. So them speaking into the microphone, recognizing what they're saying, transforming it into text and then doing something with that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and make sure to leave some comment ideas down below on what you want to see from this series.